Welcome back everyone to more Dirt 4 coverage on Knee Pit Gaming. So in our previous video, we did career mode, an introduction to the Rallycross. We did our very first Rallycross championship, got a new car, all of that. And so I decided for the second video in line with the Rallycross, I would continue on with the career and things just did not go well. Uh, my main focus on this channel and in the games I select and in the the videos I make for those selected games is fun. I love challenge, but it's got to be fun. I mean, challenge for the sake of challenge is one thing, but I, I find challenge fun, and I just was not having any fun on that particular event with that particular car, so I decided to take a step back. It was getting very frustrated. I deleted the recordings um, around that because I wanted to step back and say, okay, if I'm going to continue doing the rally cross side of things, then I want to see if it's going to be fun when I get to the end. And the end goal is the 600 horsepower, full courses. And so that's what we have here, a free play championship set up with each of the, lo the five locations for Rallycross, the full races and the full event schedule. You can see here, if you remember from our previous video, we had two races in each event. So we went to England, we raced two races and so on. So not only were we only racing two races, but it was on the smaller version of the track. So I decided, let's go ahead and get the full experience, the full qualifying heat races, the whole thing, and see if we can make it to the finale. Now that's a challenge that I will accept, and I think that should be fun, provided that the car is fun to drive. So that's what we're gonna find out. So I went out and bought, uh, if you remember from previous videos, we had well over $400,000. Um, in our team account and I had I had resisted doing full-fledged upgrades to our team offices and and all that kind of stuff I done a little bit here and there um, So I took some of that money and I purchased The top of the line rally car, which is the Ford Focus RS RX love the look of this car We've got the monster energy paint scheme on it great look to the car Unfortunately, you don't always get this once you purchase it. You can't get uh, the what I would call upgrades, the different uh, aero benefits and, and the different stylings of the car. There's no way that I know of to get those. So you just sort of get what you get. But I like the look of this car in general. So I purchased that one, leaving us still, as you can see here, still plenty of money, over $250,000. So I decided to set up this championship and let's just see if we enjoy the car. Uh, we're going to start out here in England. we got six races uh, and I assume that means that the six races would include the finale if we're able to qualify for that. So let's just see how it goes. If we enjoy it, then we'll keep going with this. If not, then hey, we'll scrap this. We'll go back to rally racing or we'll try some more circuit racing of a different style. We'll try something else, but it's gotta be fun in order to continue going. So I've left everything the same. The difficulty settings, we're still not using any aids. It's 93% difficulty, I believe is what it is. We've got our vehicle, which we now own, and everything is set up. So we're going to do, and here in our first video, we're going to get started with England. Right, so here we are with the England circuit, and you can see there's, it's pretty free-flowing. You've got some 180-degree corners, but they're pretty wide and sweeping. Sweeping corners here. You've got sweeping corners here and, and everything. Um, so this should be an interesting track just to try to get to see if I can get into the flow. I know this section here you see on the right, which I believe is right here based on the look of things. Um, this should be interesting because it doesn't look like I want to hit that curb at all. So looking like eight tenths of a mile roughly on the circuit. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's skip by this. Now I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of talking probably during uh, the racing events here because this should be uh, such that it requires all of my attention to get going. All right, so let's go ahead. We are going to, I'm not, can't really upgrade the vehicle uh, because our team is pretty, uh, pretty low right now in the grand scheme of things. Definitely not the type of team that would be uh, running in this type of series. Let's go ahead and let's start out. Let's do some things here. I'm going to start out and I'm going to max out the negative camber front and rear. Now, am I sure that this is the optimum way of doing it? No, I'm not. Uh, but I'm gonna give, give this the best shot I've got. 
All right, the torque bias, I do want to be a little bit on the safe side. I'm going to move this toward the front. Hopefully, it'll help me control the car a little better. And the same thing with the braking lock. This is when I'm under heavy braking. I want to lock. The more locked the differential is, the more stable the car should be. So we're going to try to start out right there. And hopefully, this works out for the best. Again, will it work out for the best? I have no idea. <laughs> That's what we're here to find out. All right, so ride height, I'm going to lower that as low as I can get it. And we're going to start there. Hopefully, we're not scraping too bad, and hopefully, we don't hurt anything. But as low as we can get the car, the better. All right, so let's go ahead and apply that tuning. And let's go ahead and get started with the race. Again, we're, going to, we're not going to practice. We're going to jump right into the race. All right, let's see. The parts fitted to your car may not be suitable for this event length. Oh, goodness. You might want to upgrade them. I do not want to upgrade them. I'm going to just have to go with what I've got. Let's just go ahead and race and see what we've okay, got. Focus on the stop. All right, here we go. Let's get off to a good one. So our first heat race, looks like we're starting on the inside right. All right, let's see how Ready. close. Oh, that's as close as I can get. All right, here we go. Three, go, go, go. And they're beating and banging on me already. I have no idea how fast I can take this corner. Oh, slid it way too wide there. But otherwise, not too bad. The handling so far isn't isn't too bad. I'm enjoying it. tight for the approach I took to that corner. Alright, I gotta figure out that corner for sure. Ooh, way too wide there. Okay. Wait up a moment. Ooh, that's slippery. wasn't too bad. I think I went maybe a little too slow through there, but it was very tricky. Alright, now that corner is just flat out fun. Oh, didn't spin around like I wanted it to there. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do on that corner to figure it out for sure. there for sure. Not too bad. Race um, win. Well done. Trying to get a good feel for the limits, how far I can drive the car into the corners, how much brake to use, throttle, and so on. Uh, let's take a quick look at the leaderboard because it's the only way I know of to see lap times. All right, so we're a little over 39 second. 721 I don't so much care about. Let's take a look at the top and see how far off the top we are. So 3902 for us. 35 now, so around a 36 flat. Okay, wow. Very quick, very well done for those guys at the top of the leaderboard. Very well done. Okay, so that setup seemed to work pretty good. Maybe a little bit uh, tighter than it needs to be to run the ultra quick laps, uh, but it's probably pretty good given my driving level. All right, so now we move on to the qualifying heats. 
and we'll see where we can go from here. No further adjustments. I'm just going to stick with it. Car felt pretty good, except in the joker section. That felt extremely slippery. All right, now we're on the far left starting, uh, which leads me to, to believe I need to go to the joker first. Go, go, go. Extremely. Oh my goodness. That, okay, I was not expecting that at all. Just spun completely around. Yeah, that was way more slippery. I'm not sure if that was. Or I'm not sure what that was really. I'll have my work cut out for me now. I'm not sure if that was cold tires, cold brakes, or just lack of driving skill on my part. goodness what is happening right now with this car okay must have carried way too much speed there remember everything we're doing right now is just trying to learn the car and we're trying to make the finale we've got to make the finale sure how I need to approach it. Okay, so not exactly what I was looking for, but some big time mishaps. Yeah, big time mishaps there. So uh, that did not work out the way we wanted. All right, but so far we're still somehow in third. Now I admit I do not fully understand how the, the point system works here. Uh, I just know we run some heats and some qualifying races and the top, I think 12 in points make it to the final few races and then uh, the final six, I believe, make it to the finale. So, so far it shows us in third. That's good. Hopefully we can continue on and get one step closer to the finale. All right, here we go. Now we're on the far inside of the track, the right side. Get ready. All right, here we go. Oh wow, these guys take off. Oh my goodness, what is happening right now? Missed that turn up again. Now I've surely got my work cut out for me. Clear space and extend again. 
car's getting really, really free going in there, so I must be charging it just way too hard. Let's see if I can hold that. Can't see anything. Where is there? It is. Where's the track? Make up the position. Oh my goodness! He just blew by me right there. I saw the top two guys run wide there at the nice end. Boy, this, the AI are extremely aggressive here. Extremely aggressive. So we end up third there. Let's see how that affects us. Seriously? We're at the top of the leaderboard now? Which I guess makes sense because the most points here went to guys farther down who hadn't done so well. So wow. Somehow we're at the top of the leaderboard so far and i'm loving it this has been a lot of fun i'm definitely struggling with the line to run and how aggressive to be in some of the corners but that's to be expected you know i'm pretty frustrated about the job i've done so far but overall you know because i don't like spinning out i don't like things like that but ready to race overall i'm having a blast three go 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 AI just take off so much quicker than I can. Wow. Okay, I didn't spin out that time, so that's a good thing. Can't see a thing. Oh, he came over right in front of me. Wow. Oh, can we make it work? Try to give him some room. Oh, what, way too wide there. Once the rest have done their joke, the ring will be fighting at first. That did not feel good at all. There, accidentally hit the, hit the paddle. Ah, too wide there.
that's just a lot of fun. That corner is just so much fun. This one I'm struggling badly at. Still trying different things to try to get better at it though. All right, all right. So 245. Job well done. All right, we'll definitely take that. I'm not gonna complain one bit about that. Anytime you get a race victory, you'd be happy. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to go to the leaderboard to check and see if I was able to improve. Now I'm still 39.02 for the fastest lap time. Uh, maybe, no, it's, I wish, oh, here we go, here we go. All right, 39.7, 39.2, okay. So some, a couple of pretty good laps there for me. All right, so now I know where to go and find out exactly what I need for lap times. All right, so there's the top 12. We end up second on the board, so I'm very happy with that. Still plenty of room for improvement there, still, particularly in that first corner, both the Joker and the traditional track. All right, we're not gonna worry too much about the bonuses. It looks like we're gonna start the, starting the first position in the second race. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. All right, that puts us on the inside. However, I have nothing for these guys on the start. I have absolutely no chance against them on the start, so we're gonna do the best we can with it and try to come through turn one alive. Oh, already they're on my tail. They're beating and banging all over the place back here. wide there. This car is very fun to drive. Challenging, yes, but very fun. Okay, you're fighting for the win at the moment. Ooh, that does not feel good there. Wow, I was out of control completely on that corner. Once you get your rhythm uh, thrown off, then see, it, it takes a long time to try to get it back, for me anyway. Better drivers, it does not. like in the league. Could that be right? Well, I just completely messed that corner up.
Man, I just love that corner. felt great that time. Nice drive. You did great. Still got a lot of work to do on the driving side of things, but the car feels great to drive. Absolutely amazing. Let's see what the race results were. Let's see. 39s. If I can get into the 39s, I feel like that's where I need to be. 39.2s, 39.3. Okay, the last couple of laps were really good. Really good. Okay, I need more of that for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and continue through that. Okay, now we're here for the finale. All right, the final race, six drivers. And so now it all comes down to this. We need to be on our game here. So we're starting P2. Boy, definitely some names I recognize here. Solberg, Sebastian Loeb, yeah. Excellent, all right, so we're in the finale. So job one has been accomplished. Let's get ahead into this race. All right, sort of in the middle of the track here. Six laps. Ready. Let's have some fun. Three, go, go, go. Oh, and we're banging. Oh, and we're banging. Somebody's beating on my bumper back here. to leave him room. I think there's somebody on the outside. All things considered, I think a pretty decent start. Oh, we got a spin. Ooh, I just barely missed him. How on earth I missed him, I have no idea. Whilst the rest have done their joke, the rest of the might even burn. fighting for third after everybody does their joker. I feel like that's about as best I've done that corner. I don't know how fast that is, but... Okay, you're fighting for the win at the moment. Alright, fighting for the win. I like the sound of that. I'm trying to be very conservative going through there. Trying to stay on the track. Oh, that's a terrible corner. Oh, how did I spin it out? Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure what's happening. The car is broken. Well, I messed that all up. How about that for the first finale? that we had a chance for the victory all right let's see what we can salvage from this though I'm definitely not giving up that's for sure we're on lap four of six
So definitely not what we were looking for. All right, put it behind you. I messed that one up for sure. But overall, I must say, I had a blast. So let's take a look at the race results. Let's see, laps one through four, 39.3. Of course, that's where I really messed it up. Uh, 43, I didn't do too hot there either. 39.7, 39.7. Okay, so overall, not terrible. But of course, I had the mishaps which ended up costing us uh, any possibility. I mean, you can see seven seconds is what we needed for the race win. Uh, about three seconds would have gotten us to second place. That's definitely doable because with the spin out and all of the mess that happened with that, uh, we definitely had uh, potential for second place. So not the finish we wanted, but overall, I think I am going to come away very pleased with the overall result. I love the feel of the car. It felt great and I'm looking forward to more. So thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned next time where we'll continue to have more dirt for rallycross on A-Pit Gaming.